I've been using watchOS 11 on my Apple Watch Ultra for a couple of hours now. I updated my device yesterday and last night I went to sleep with the watch on my wrist in order to measure and show you some of the new measuring metrics that are here. The first thing you probably need to know about watchOS 11 if this is an update that you plan to update your device to in the future is that it drops support for the Apple Watch Series 4 and the Apple Watch Series 5. So those two Apple Watch series won't be supported when it comes out and in order for you to update to it you need an iPhone XS updated to iOS 18 and an Apple Watch Series 6 or later and the Apple Watch SE second gen is supported. If we were to go into the settings and then go to where it says general and go to software update you can see we are up to date and the version that we have right here is version 11.0 with the build number 22R5284. We actually have an unusually long build number so that's something that's new and just by looking at watchOS 11 from the get-go it looks pretty similar to the previous watchOS 10 but there are some new changes that are here and the first one that I want to show you is an addition of a new application and most of the new applications that are going to be here or pre-installed once you update your device to watchOS 11 are going to be on the bottom of the list if you have a grid view or if you have list view then you need to find them by their name since it's alphabetical order but if you open up this application here this is the new virus application this application gives you a better way to understand your health by wearing your apple watch overnight or to sleep and you can see it measures five different important metrics that it keeps track of as you sleep and right here you can see these black dots these are the first ones that it was able to measure for me so right now you can see this is typical as i've used it so far for one night and you can see it's showing the current today but if you want to change the view you can click on the calendar and then it will show you or switch from a daily view to a weekly view as you can see the past seven days so that's the calendar and then you notice that here we have this border that has a top line and the bottom line so if any of the five metrics that are measured by it fall out of the middle range then that's an outliner and usually if you have an outliner you can accept notifications when you set it up or open it up for the first time and it will give you a notification when you have a typical outliner as it will be out of your normal range so the first metric that you see here is typical or the daily average if you select weekly you'll be able to see your weekly average and if you go down you can see the first thing that it measures is the heart rate and this is my typical heart rate it's within range that's why you see it's within that box and the second thing or the second viral metric that it measures is the respiratory rate and you can see here that we actually don't have a dot corresponding to the respiratory rate in the box right there so this needs six more nights in order to be able to give me an average metric so you can see right there if you want to get more information you can click on the eye and get more information about the respiratory rate and what it is and some of the factors that may affect your respiratory rate at the same time if you go down you can see the other metrics that it's able to measure risk temperature and you can see it right there if you go next this is the bo2 max of the blood oxygen measurement and right here you can see it needs at least seven measurements to be able to tell whether you are within range or not so it averages it out and now the next one is the sleep duration which is pretty much typical within range and you can see for that one it's able to measure so for these three that you see three dots form those ones just one night of sleep it was able to measure but then the other two like you see here the blood oxygen and the less respiratory rate it needs about seven consecutive readings in order to give you an average something new that has been updated with this watch os 11 is the fitness training load that you are able to see so when you open it up you see this little uh, load that you can click there and if you click on it it gives you a view right here that you can sort and at the same time if you press on the three buttons you can choose between all workouts or 
all day like just the workouts that you've been doing for today so you can see my average i haven't been working out since i'm uh, it's a weekend and i'm still at home so you can see my typical here and if you click there again you can select all workouts the purpose of this feature is to help you to see if you are underworking or overworking so that you can decide whether to push yourself or back off a little bit which is something that's good and there will be a rank of one to ten or from an easy to hard once you have collected enough data here and enough metrics and if you click here where it says typical it just takes you to your vitals and you can see it's giving me a weekly view but at the same time if i click on the calendar i can always go to the today view and so that's another way to access the vital app from there at the same time if you want to view more metrics on this you can always go to the fitness application on your iphone if you open it up and you go to the summary tab right here you can go all the way down to where it says edit summary and now you have the ability to add this one that says training load and i've already added it but if you haven't done it then you need to add it so that you can see it in the fitness application and now here it is if i open it up you can see it says no data because you know i just updated the, the, to it right now but typically if you click on the eye right here it will give you a description of what training load is it says training load gives you insight on how your workouts add up so you can decide when to push or when to recover and it has a seven day or a 28 day training load so it probably would need about seven days of workouts in order to give you a brief overview of how you're pushing yourself and it will be able to give you effort ratings workout filters and all day and if you go back right here you can see it gives us just a brief overview of the vitals that we have which are the five things that we saw that the vitals application measures and the cool thing is that if you don't want to wait for the vitals the two other respiratory rate and bo2 max to collect data you can always come in here and see it or you can also go in the applications that correspond to like blood oxygen or the respiratory app and see the metrics from there but once you've collected enough data you'll be able to see the metrics on a graph watch os 11 also adds some new watch faces and to be specific there's only one basic new watch face that has been sort of improved and if you click here on the new watch face you can see there's minor improvements to the unity bloom radiance this is just was released in june and you can see we have this photos that has been updated now these two we can add from the apple watch to our home screen but then when it comes to the new photos update you can see we don't have the option to add it so that's sort of a bug that's here at this point in time but if you open up your apple watch application right here and go to the watch face gallery you can see the new watch faces that are here and if you go to photos you can see the new photos update that we have right here and here you have the option to shuffle between people nature and cities or if you want to select manual collections or albums that you wanted to select from you can always do that or what you can do as well is to manually choose pictures and at the same time if you have pets you see the option to sort by pets but since i don't have any pictures of pets in my gallery then that's why you don't see the pets option right there so once you've shuffled your option you can choose photo if i add this photo that's here and then click add i can click where it says select and then select it and then click done and done again and now if i go to this time size section right here you can see different positioning that it has been able to add and right here we have dynamic time size we have extra large we have large we have medium and we have small and you can see how it frames and adjust the watch face if you click where it says large right there you can see it and then you can choose the font as well so this is classic this is rounded <laughs> rounded is actually a little bit out of frame and then you can choose numerical arabic uh, and then you can choose this option as well or if you are able to see this as well you can choose multiple options as well and you have the ability to choose color styles on this section so i think the one that 
just works is this one i mean this one is unique too but yeah this one and i think like this looks good and once you are happy with your selection you can always add two complications one at the top and one at the bottom and so once you've added your complications now you can go ahead and add it to your watch face and now on our apple watch we can be able to select it or it will automatically auto populate with by itself and this is the new watch face that we've added you can see how it looks and instead of the time just being uh side to side it's now top to bottom which is something that's unique if you go into your settings on the apple watch you notice there is this smart stack setting and if you click on it right there since it now supports live activities and widget suggestions you can go to live activities and choose whether you want to allow live activities on your apple watch and so i have it on and when live activities begin it will auto launch and you can choose which risk show live activities on but now if you go down here to your widget section right here and you have a widget that has live activities you can be able to add it right here and if we go all the way down to widget suggestions and you have applications such as uber or skip that support a lot of live activities you can be able to do that so they've also been added more widgets selections that we can use right here some applications have also been updated with watch os 11 and for example if you go all the way down you can see the shazam app that i had on the iphone already has another corresponding watch os app right here that has been updated if you open it for the first time you see a pop-up screen that tells you all about shazam you can tap tap right here and it pings and starts to listen for songs or once you stop it double pings to let you know that the recording or recognizing has completed and if you continue to move the digital ring right here you can see it will be able to tell you or give you a history of the recent songs that you shazammed and if you want to see all there's the option to be able to do that and it will give you more options that way another newly updated application that we have right here is the translate app you can see it right here on the apple watch it's now supported so you select the language that the two languages that you want to translate from and to so you can select english and then french or you can see some other selections that we have that you can translate to such as arabic chinese chinese mandarin traditional dutch and then since we are already from english you know we these ones we can't select but then there's french german indonesian italian japanese korean polish portuguese russian spanish thai turkish ukrainian and vietnamese let's try and translate something from english to french good morning how are you i'm looking for the nearest restaurant from here can you give me directions please then you know it types it out right here bonjour comment what what and then if you click play bonjour comment allez-vous je cherche le restaurant le plus proche d'ici pouvez-vous me donner des indications s'il vous plaît okay so that's how it sounds in french within the health application there's also been some updates if you open it up and then go to where it says psycho tracking if you use this you can always go to where it says view psycho tracking items right there and if you select where it says pregnancy i'm just looking for p there you can get started and now all the metrics and graphs that it will give you it will keep in mind that you are pregnant and be able to adjust accordingly and tell you whether you are in range or not if you want to check in and notify people that you've arrived at a destination you can check in with messages or alternatively if you go for like an evening on a night jog and you want to do so by checking in just to let people that hey i'm still okay you can always do that and you can see right here if you continue to go down you now have slightly more ui improvements and if you swipe left this is the check-in option that you can choose and check in and then you choose 
to be able to notify your friends or family that you are safe. Also, distant route workouts has been updated and now it has the ability to support swimming and a few others such as outdoor run as well. So it will be able to give you like a boundary or map of how you were with swimming or the outline of the workout that you were performing. In the fitness application, if you go to where it says move or if you want to exercise or stand you can always go to the plus minus icon right there and now you can adjust your goal so right there you can change for today or change daily goal and if you go also to the next section a stand or exercise you also have the same ability so if you say change for today you can choose the set duration and if you go to where it says which is the next option change daily goal you can change your daily goal in that aspect and if you want to set a schedule you can do so so that if you have like a weekend or vacation coming up you have the ability to do that and if you go to the calories you can choose your goal of calories that you want to set so if you have uh, like a meeting for a day or you have studies that are coming up and you won't be able to hit your goal you can always adjust your goal so that it doesn't think that you are underworking or in other situations overworking. So far, that's Watch OS 11, first hands on experience. There's obviously going to be more videos when it comes to explaining some of the new features that are here, maybe one by one, or going into depth and explaining them more fully. So, if that's something that you want to see, leave a like and subscribe and definitely comment for the algorithm. Peace.